Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Andrew and Nicole. It's been a while since I made my last video. So for those of you guys who tune in and subscribe, thank you very much. We're already 2,200 subscribers. Okay, so in this video, we're going to show you and teach you how to install a heat sink to your NVMe SSD. Now, before we go through that process, I'd like to just give you a brief, brief background. Bakit ko ba binili tong SSD at the same time, bakit ako may heat sink this, this time, no? So, ano ba tong SSD? Okay. This SSD is called the KC3000 Kingston. Okay. NVMe SSD or, or Non-Volatile Memory Express PCIe Gen 4 Solid State Drive. Okay. Basically, storage siya for your computer. Okay. This is a, a sort of a hard disk. Nung unang panahon, uh, hard disk ang tawag. Ngayon, SSD na. Okay. So, what do you use this for? To add storage to your computer. Okay, what else? Okay, you can use this as a portable uh, storage drive by using a NVMe to USB-C uh, enclosure like this one. But we're not going to do this right now. And you can install this directly to your motherboard in your computer okay, to add storage. Or you can put this in your PlayStation 5. Okay, your PlayStation 5, it only has 800 65 gigs of storage space if you play a lot of games you run out of storage very very fast okay so this way if you add an ssd you can install games here directly so no need to plug in an external hard disk okay so i bought this kingston kc3000 maybe two months three months ago i got this from about eight thousand pesos uh, at that time so around $100 to $150. Now, pro tip, I know Black, Ma Black Friday is coming up and you can find this at Amazon. And shout out to Maya, meron daw silang 20% discount. So if you want to take advantage of that, uh, you might want to research about it. Okay, so you, net net nito, baka makuha mo siya ng 5,000 pesos, so about one, 110 US dollars. Okay, so this one, I got this, the heat sink. For the SSD, for about 250 pesos uh, sale in Lazada last month. So this one retails at around 288 pesos, less than 10 US dollars, maybe 5 to 6 US dollars if you want to convert it into um, to, to US dollars. Okay. So this brand is JE. This is actually a very generic one. You can find this uh, on online stores. Now, the, you have to make sure when you buy a heatsink, it should be compatible with your NVMe storage drive. Okay, for this particular model, it is rated at, uh, the size is 22, up, up to for SSD, 2280. Okay, 22 millimeter by 80 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so what's in the box? Okay, so ayan, pakita ko lang sa inyo. Uh, close up look, and yung likod. Okay. There's a black and there's a red color. So I I bought any color because whatsoever is available. Anyway, I will be using this SSD in my PlayStation 5 and the color doesn't really matter. What's inside the box? You get the case like this one. Okay. So yung liquid niya, the back is like this. Okay. This is just a, a housing for your heatsink and your SSD. Later in the video, you'll see how I install it. And this is the heatsink per se. Okay, so it's like a stack of fins, aluminum fins, if I'm not mistaken, the back, like this. This will help di dissipate the heat. Okay, in other words, uh, it will take out the heat from your SSD. And when it's running, it make sure it runs cool. The cooler the SSD, the better it performs. Okay, so what else comes in the box? It's the thermal pads, like this one. Okay, the thermal pads is the one transmitting the heat to the heat sink from the SSD. Okay, so yeah, it comes with a its own screwdriver, okay, and some screws. Okay, so it will help you assemble the SSD and some instruction manual in Chinese. I think it's about warranty per se, and wala naman masyadong pinag-usapang iba. Okay, so yeah, let's proceed to install and show you how to uh, mount the SSD, mount the SSD to the heatsink. All right, so this is how you install the heatsink enclosure with the SSD. Now, as you can see, this is all the parts that uh, you will need 
except this one you don't need this one anymore because it's big different size okay so first thing you have to do is make sure you clear clear out and clean maybe remove some debris and stick this what do you call this orange or reddish uh, thermal pad so remove the sticker you have to align it properly so yeah so you already stuck the thermal first thermal pad then you have to make sure these holes are aligned to these holes like this okay and you will stick this thermal pad to the on top of your ssd you will remove the plastics okay strips So it's a little bit difficult to align, so just be careful. Okay, so there. I hope I got it straight correctly. And there's another thin layer of plastic here. Mm -hmm. There you go. So when you're done, you just put it here. Align it properly okay and you plug in or insert the heat sink on top of this it's like making a sandwich okay so yeah so make sure that the hole you can see there's a like a shape make sure you're not um, covering okay I think we're okay so then you screw both sides okay so you can press it okay so let's screw it All right, so I'm done with the, the installation of the heat sink to the SSD. So as you can see, this is where the terminals you're gonna connect to your computer or your PS5. Make sure you are oriented correctly. The small pin should be on the right side. Okay, and make sure these holes are correctly aligned so that when you punch the screw, screw in, when you install it, you will not have any problem. Okay, just, just a very simple steps on how to install a generic heatsink to a SSD enclosure like this one. So stay tuned to my next video if you want to know how to install this in the PS5 and configuring how, how to have the PS5 recognize this SSD drive. All right, so thank you very much for watching this simple instruction video. I hope you learned something. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the video and please subscribe. Now, I'll put all the links, the shop links of these parts down below. Everything will be described uh, uh, below now. So feel free to use those links to support, support my channel. Okay, so see you guys next time. Bye-bye.